Have you ever felt an inexplicable connection to someone, as if you've known them for lifetimes? This might be a sign of a twin flame relationship. Imagine a bond so deep, so intense, it feels as if it spans across lifetimes. This is the essence of a twin flame relationship. The concept is believed to originate from the idea that a soul, in its infinite wisdom and power, splits into two halves. These halves are then reincarnated in two separate bodies, yet they remain intrinsically linked by the shared essence of their soul. This is not to be confused with soulmates. While soulmates share a deep and profound connection, twin flames go beyond that. They are mirror images, reflections of the same spirit, and their connection is unlike any other. When twin flames meet, it's like coming home, a sense of recognition and familiarity that is impossible to ignore. But this connection is not always easy. Twin flames often experience a push-pull dynamic, a dance of coming together and moving apart. This dance is driven by the intense energy their combined souls generate, which can be both captivating and overwhelming. Unlike other relationships, twin flames are not about finding completion in the other. Instead, they are about spiritual growth and self-discovery. They challenge each other, push each other's boundaries, and catalyze each other's spiritual evolution. Through their relationship, they learn about unconditional love, forgiveness, and the true meaning of oneness. In essence, a twin flame relationship is a journey. A journey of love, growth, and enlightenment that is as beautiful as it is challenging. It's a cosmic dance that transcends the physical realm, a bond that is felt in the very core of their beings. And while not everyone will experience a twin flame relationship in their lifetime, those who do describe it as a transformative experience, one that leaves them forever changed, forever enriched. If you're enjoying the content so far, do consider subscribing. Your support means the world to us. In every twin flame relationship, there is a chaser and a runner. But what does it mean to be the chaser? The chaser, in the context of a twin flame relationship, plays a crucial role that's fraught with complexity and emotional turmoil. Imagine being in a dance where you're constantly trying to catch up with your partner, yearning for that elusive sync that promises a harmonious rhythm. That's the life of the chaser. The chaser is often the one who is more spiritually awakened, more attuned to the deep cosmic connection that binds twin flames together. They feel an intense need to reconnect with their other half, the runner, who seems to be constantly slipping away. This pursuit can be as exhilarating as it is exhausting. The chaser's journey is not a simple chase, rather it's a quest. A quest to reunite two halves of a soul. A quest to complete a cosmic puzzle that's as ancient as the universe itself. But this quest, this pursuit, can sometimes become all-consuming. The chaser often finds themselves in a vortex of emotions, where longing and pain are constant companions. The more they chase, the more elusive the runner becomes. And the more elusive the runner becomes, the deeper the chaser gets pulled into this vortex. It's a cycle that's as vicious as it is poignant. The chaser's role is also a journey of self-discovery. In their pursuit of the runner, they often come face to face with their deepest fears, their insecurities, their hopes, and their dreams. It's a journey that forces them to confront the raw, unfiltered version of themselves but even amidst the turmoil, the chaser remains steadfast, fueled by a love that is as profound as it is unconditional. They continue to chase, to seek, to yearn, hopeful of a reunion, hopeful of a harmonious dance. The chaser's journey is a challenging one, filled with longing and heartache. Yet, it's a journey that's as necessary as it is transformative. For it's in this whirlwind of emotions, in this pursuit of love, that the chaser truly evolves, truly understands the depth of their existence and the magnitude of their love. Just as painful as the chase is the moment when the runner leaves, but why does this happen? When the twin flame runner departs, it's often a complex mix of emotions and circumstances that drives them away. It's not a decision made lightly, nor is it one devoid of pain. One of the primary reasons is fear. The intensity of the twin flame connection can be overwhelming, even terrifying. Imagine feeling such a profound bond with another person that it shakes your very foundations. 
It's not uncommon for the runner to be gripped by fear and choose flight over facing these raw, unfiltered emotions. Confusion, too, plays a significant role. The twin flame runner might not understand why they feel such a deep connection. They may question its validity, its reality. This confusion can lead to a sense of being lost, of not knowing how to navigate the intensity of the bond. And in that state of bewilderment, leaving might seem like the only viable option. There's also the belief that they are not ready for such a connection. The runner might feel they are not emotionally mature enough, not spiritually developed enough to honor and nurture this bond. They might feel they need to grow, to evolve before they can fully embrace their twin flame connection. The departure of the runner can leave the chaser lost and heartbroken. The chaser might feel abandoned, their world turned upside down. They might question why their twin flame left if they did something wrong, or if they could have done something to prevent their departure. The pain can be intense, a wound that seems to cut to the very core of their being. But remember, this departure, as painful as it is, serves a purpose. It's a catalyst for growth, for self-discovery. It's a chance for both the runner and the chaser to learn, to heal, to evolve. The runner's departure is a pivotal moment in the twin flame journey, one that can leave the chaser reeling. Letting go is never easy, especially when it comes to someone you feel such a deep connection with. But why is it so hard for the chaser to let go? Ponder on this for a moment. The twin flame chaser, the one left behind, experiences a unique struggle. It's like trying to sever a bond that's as vast as the universe itself. Imagine for a moment a vine, deeply rooted and intertwined with a mighty oak. The vine is so entwined that it's become a part of the tree itself, inseparable, intertwined. That's the kind of connection we're talking about here. A connection that's not simply about love or attraction, but something deeper, more profound, more spiritual. The chaser clings to the belief that they are meant to be together. They hold on to every memory, every moment, every shared dream. They believe in the promise of a union that transcends the physical world. This enduring bond and belief, it's what makes it so hard for them to let go. Letting go would mean accepting the absence of their other half. It would mean shattering the dream of a shared destiny. And that's a bitter pill to swallow, isn't it? The struggle is not just about the pain of separation. It's about the difficulty of relinquishing a part of oneself. The chaser, in essence, is trying to let go of a part of their soul. And that, my friends, is no easy feat. The struggle to let go is like trying to unlearn a language you've spoken all your life. It's like trying to forget how to breathe. It's trying to deny the existence of the sun, the stars, the universe itself. It's a struggle that's as old as time, as vast as the cosmos, as deep as the soul. It's a struggle that speaks volumes about the power of the twin flame connection. It's a struggle that's both heart-wrenching and beautiful in its own right. The struggle to let go is a testament to the depth of the twin flame connection. And that, my friends, is the poignant truth of the twin flame chaser's journey. In the midst of this struggle, self-healing becomes paramount. But how can the chaser begin this process? This question, my friends, opens up a new realm of self-discovery and growth. When we talk about self-healing, we're not just referring to mending a broken heart. It goes beyond that. It's about finding peace within oneself, about acknowledging the pain and transforming it into strength. The twin flame journey is not just about uniting with your other half, it's also about becoming whole within yourself. This journey towards wholeness begins with self-love. It's about accepting who you are, loving yourself unconditionally, and nurturing your spirit. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. You need to fill your own cup first to be able to share that love with others. But how can one start this process of self-love and acceptance? The first step is to acknowledge your feelings. It's okay to feel the pain, the longing, the confusion. It's okay to not be okay. Accepting your emotions as they are without judgment is the first step towards healing. Once you've made peace with your emotions, it's time to cultivate self-love. This could be through self-care activities that make you feel loved and pampered. It could be through affirmations reminding yourself every day of your worth and your strength. It could be through spending time in nature, 
connecting with the universal energy, and finding peace within yourself. Patience is another key element in this process. Healing doesn't happen overnight, it's a journey, and like every journey it takes time. So be patient with yourself. Give yourself the time and space to heal and grow. One more thing to remember is that you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to people who understand, join support groups, or seek professional help if you need it. Don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So take that first step towards self-healing today, because self-healing is a crucial step on the path to wholeness and fulfillment. Despite the pain and struggle, there is always the possibility of reconnection, but what does this look like in a twin flame relationship? Picture this, two souls, having endured the pain, the longing, the struggle, find themselves on the precipice of a reunion. This is not a reunion born out of desperation or loneliness. No, this is a reunion that comes after a period of growth, of healing, and of self-discovery. In a twin flame relationship, the possibility of reconnection is always there, like a beacon in the distance. It's a beacon that's sometimes shrouded in the fog of hurt and misunderstanding, but it's always there, waiting for the right moment to shine brightly. This reconnection, however, is not a one-sided affair. Both the chaser and the runner must be ready to reunite. They must have journeyed through their own paths of healing, learned their own lessons, and arrived at a place of understanding and acceptance. Let me tell you, the reunion of Twin Flames is not just about two people coming back together. It's about two souls, two halves of the same whole, reuniting. It's about a bond that transcends the physical plane, a connection that is deeply spiritual and profound. Yet, this reunion is not just about the Twin Flames. It's also about their journey. It's about the lessons they've learned, the growth they've experienced, and the love they've cultivated for themselves and for each other. And when this reunion happens, it can be a beautiful and fulfilling experience. It's like two pieces of a puzzle fitting together, two notes in a symphony, creating a harmonious melody, two stars in the cosmos aligning perfectly. It's a dance of souls, a dance of love, a dance of unity. But remember, reconnection is not guaranteed. It's not a given. It's a possibility, a potential. It's a journey that requires patience, understanding, and above all, love. Because at the end of the day, love is the force that drives twin flames together, and love is what will bring them back together. Reconnection is not guaranteed, but it is always a possibility. The twin flame journey is a complex and challenging one, filled with highs and lows. But through it all, there is always the potential for growth and fulfillment. We have embarked on a deep dive into the twin flame phenomenon, exploring the intricate dynamics, the roles of the chaser and the runner, and the profound pain that accompanies separation. The chaser's struggle to let go is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to the intensity of the bond they share with their counterpart. This bond, this connection, is not easily severed, and it is this tenacity that makes the twin flame journey so uniquely challenging. Yet, in the face of adversity, there lies opportunity. We have underscored the crucial importance of self-healing, of using this time of separation to reflect, grow, and nurture one's own spirit. The chaser's journey towards self-love and self-discovery is paramount not only for their personal well-being, but also for the potential of a reconnection with their twin flame. Remember, the runner's departure is not necessarily a finite end, but rather a pause, a moment for both parties to grow individually. The possibility of reconnection is always present, a beacon of hope in the tumultuous seas of the twin flame journey. But this reunion is not the end goal. The true essence of the twin flame journey lies in the growth experienced, the lessons learned, and the self-love fostered. This journey is an exploration of the self, a journey of self-awareness and self-discovery. It's a dance between two souls, intertwined and interconnected, each reflecting and amplifying the other's energy. This is the crux of the twin flame relationship, the deep, unshakable bond that persists through trials and tribulations. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of twin flame relationships. Remember, your journey is unique and there is no right or wrong way to navigate it.